So we have two days to complete this quest, and when we complete this quest, we will unlock the weather machine and gain access to the snow park. If we complete it within the two-day time limit, we will unlock fantastic snow outfits. So the first thing we need to do is to search for UFOs in the park. Rumour has it UFOs have been spotted flying erratically over Simtown. Go to the park and use one of the telescopes to search for UFOs. So head over to the park on the town map and then whistle over a sim. If you have a look around there will be telescope here. Click on the telescope and search for UFOs 1 minute 30 seconds. There we go, we have finished searching for UFOs in the park. The next thing that we need to do is to be nice to an alien. Your sim spotted a UFO and watched it descend behind the trees somewhere nearby. It must have landed. Send your sim back home and see if you can find the alien. If you find it, be nice and say hello. So go into the sim tracker and send our sim home. Once we are back at home, we'll see that Osiris, the alien, is here. So we'll go ahead and click on him and we'll be nice for one minute. There we go, we have finished being nice to the alien. Now we need to become friends with an alien. Okay, now that the friendly welcome is out of the way, it's time to show the alien that this is a peaceful planet. Have one of your sims become friends with the alien. So all you need to do here is just keep clicking on either be funny or be nice until you become friends. So here we go, they are friends. I only had to do the be nice interaction one more time, so that took just one minute. Now we need to go back to the park. The alien apologises for causing Simtown to panic. He says that he had trouble landing his UFO because his probing device wedged itself under the pedal under the brake pedal. Hang on, did he say probing device? Quick, get out of there. Send your sim back to the park. So back over to the town map and over to the park. Go into your sim tracker and whistle over a sim. And that is task completed. Go to the park. We need to end his nigh on his soapbox. Phew, safe in nature. Perhaps it's time to tell the world that the end is nigh. Use the soapbox in the park. So this is the soapbox here. This kind of little cardboard box. If you just click on it and warn the end is nigh is 12 hours. We have completed end is nigh on a soapbox. Now we need to become best friends with the alien. Hmm, that didn't go so well. The alien and the ducks were the only attendees. Maybe it's time to try a different angle. Become best friends with the alien. So what we can do is if we go in the sim tracker, you can whistle Osiris the alien over. So we'll come to the park, just click on Osiris and either be nice, be funny, until you become best friends. Okay, here we go. We are now best friends with the alien. That took me eight times of being be nice, which is eight minutes to do that task. The next thing that we need to do is to browse the internet. The alien says that its name is Osiris and that he's here to share technology with your sims. First, Osiris would like to create a harp device. Hmm, what's a harp device? Let's ask the internet, the knower of all things. So over at our house, we have got a two-star computer, so you will be able to do this quicker if you've got a three-star. And browse the internet is four minutes and 30 seconds. We've finished browsing the internet. The next thing that we need to do is to be nice to Osiris. There it is, right next to the article about potato batteries, harp. Hello, atmosphere, rain, please. He wants to create a weather machine. Awesome. Be nice to Osiris and find out what you can do to help. So Osiris is not at our house. If he is not at your house, he is on the sim tracker. So just whistle him over. Click on him and be nice for a minute. There we go. Task complete. We have been nice to Osiris. Now we need to spend 16,000 simoleons on electronics. Before building a weather machine, Osiris needs to get familiar with the technology on SimPlanet. Spend 16,000 on electronics by buying whatever electronic items you like from the home store. So we need to just go in and spend 16,000 on electronics. So go into your electronics section and buy whatever you want that totals up to 16,000. Now we need to negotiate with a sim eating plant. Good job. Now Osiris would like to analyse the intelligent behaviour of plants. Hmm, where can you find an intelligent plant? Oh, the garden patch. So what you're going to have to do here, if you've not already got a sim eating plant, click on a garden patch and you will see, if you scroll down, the lettuce, where it has this green triangle, that, that is the sim eating plant. 
there is a possibility that when you harvest this, a sim eating plant will pop up. There's also on other ones like the strawberries, but that takes a day as you can see. So what you want to use is the lettuce for 45 minutes, which is the quickest. Go ahead and plant some lettuce. Once the 45 minutes is up, you will see that we have the lettuce here. We go ahead and click on it and hopefully we will get, yes, there we go. We will get the sim eating plant. It could be that when you click on that, you will not get the sim eating plant, so you, you'll, you'll just get simoleon, so you'll just have to keep doing that and planting lettuce until you get the sim eating plant. Once you've got the sim eating plant, just go ahead and click on it and negotiate for three minutes. There we go, we have finished negotiating with the sim eating plant. The next thing is to read fine literature. Wow! Did you know that a sim eating plant once wrote a book that is widely considered to be fine literature? I guess it makes sense. I mean, they're intelligent, arguably, and sometimes wear monocles. While your sim is in a reading mood, grab some fine literature and read Plants and Prejudice by Herb Austin. Okay, so have we got a bookshelf in this room? In this house, sorry, we have. It is blocked at the moment. Let's just put that there and click on our bookshelf. This is a two-star bookshelf and we need to read fine literature there for 11 hours. We have finished reading fine literature. Now we need to be rude to Osiris. How do I say this? Osiris is interested in seeing how sims show other sims that they love them very much. Hang on, surely he doesn't want to watch your sims woohoo. <laughs> Tell Osiris he's being inappropriate. He is being inappropriate. Let's, oh, I was gonna say let's whistle him over, but it looks like he's already here. Oh yes, here he is, outside. Be rude for 10 seconds. Here we go, we've been rude to Osiris. Let's see what Osiris has to say about that. Oh, woohoo. Osiris says that it needs your sims to woohoo for science, otherwise he won't understand how your sims function well enough to ensure that the weather machine doesn't cause permanent damage to them. Well, it is for science. Okay, so let's woohoo. <laughs> Let's select our mail, click on our wife, and we'll woohoo for five minutes. We've finished our woohoo. Now we need to have a deep sleep. That was awkward. Why not just go to sleep and pretend that none of this ever happened? Your sims need to rest anyway. Have a sim go to bed for a deep sleep. So let's click on this. This is a three star bed, so a deep sleep is six hours and 30 minutes. Our sim has finished their deep sleep. Now we need to be funny to Osiris. All this research and no play. Why not lighten the fart with a mood joke? <laughs> Sorry, I meant to say lighten the mood with a fart joke. So let's click on Osiris and be funny for 10 seconds. We have been funny to Osiris. Now we need to play electronica on a stereo. While you're busy growing fart beans, Osiris has finished the weather machine. Let's celebrate electronica style. Click on the stereo and play Electronica for 2 minutes 24 seconds. We've finished playing Electronica on the stereo and that is finished. Congratulations for completing the quest and alien concept weather machines. You've unlocked a weather machine and the snow park on the town map. We will check those out in a second. And because we completed it within the time limit, we have unlocked these special snow outfits. They should be handy in this unpredictable weather. We'll check those out as well. Oh, I've got a little message from Osiris. I'll be right back, folks. Osiris' work is done for today. Don't worry, he'll be back soon enough. So just for completing the quest, we get access to the weather machine, which is in the electronic section of the home store, and it costs 70,000 simoleons. And you can only use one per household. You only need one per household. And this changes the weather on this specific lot that you place down the weather machine. So this is what it looks like and if you click on it you have various different options you can make it night which of course makes it dark on that lot and then you can make it day so it will always be day you can resume the day and night cycle so that it will go light and dark automatically you can make the weather random so it will just kind of do whatever it wants to it's decided to make it snow so now, whilst it is snowing, the options have kind of changed. We can create a storm, which makes it rain. And whilst it's raining, there is lightning that strikes, and there is the potential to hit your sim. And when the lightning hits your sim, your sim will become inspired. So again, we can just make it snow. And when it is snowing, as you can see, the pool, if you have a pool, freezes over. 
And then you have the option to figure skate, which is the figure skating hobby, as well as doing the figure skating hobby over at the snow park. You can also do it on any lot that you have a pool. By completing the quest, we also gain access to the snow park, which is over kind of left of the park. I really like the snow park. This is how it looks inside. There is a place where you can do the figure skating hobby. There are a couple of places where you can have a snowball fight. He really is not dressed for a snowball fight, is he, at all. You can go snowboarding or you can go tobogganing. When you go snowboarding or tobogganing, you go up in these cable cars to the top and then you have two different sections. I think you go over this way. Yeah, here he goes. He's going snowboarding down there. Look at him go. Oh, yes. And then on the other side, we have, yeah, on the other side, we have tobogganing. Off she goes. So cool. Whoa, she goes fast. Oh, no, she fell. <laughs> and then we just have this adorable little log cabin. It's got a barbecue outside. But inside, there's a little cocktail bar, coffee place, little place to sit. Just a really, really nice little area. I really do think that the snow park is such a nice addition with so many like little things and interactive things that you can do. The prize for completing it within the time limit was of course the snow outfits and you can get the snow outfits for different ages of sims. We have the toddler snow outfits and there are also four hats that go with the four different outfits as well as in the hair section. Instead of the hat, you can go with the earmuffs, which are adorable, to be quite honest. There are also snow outfits for the teenage sims. And again, you get the option of a hat. Or you can go in the hair section and get the earmuffs. And there are options for the preteens as well. Along with, again, the different coloured hats. And the earmuffs in the hair section. The difference between the male and female is just the various different colours that you can get. For the seniors, there are no outfits, but you do get the woolly hat. And you get the earmuffs. So they can't put on the whole outfit, but they do get a couple of extra items for their head, I suppose. The next quest that becomes available to us is the multi-storey renovations. I will leave a link down below in the description to that once I have completed it. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope it's helped you out with the quest. Let me know down in the comments if you completed it within the time limit. If you have any questions about the quest, leave them down below in the comments and either myself or hopefully another simmer can do our best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys soon. Bye!